welcome back. So today we're going to read a story titled, I am Frida Kahlo. So let's go ahead and check it out. Ordinary People Change the World, I am Frida Kahlo, written by Brad Meltzer, illustrated by Christopher Eliopoulos. I am Frida Kahlo. I was born in this house in Mexico. Later, we painted it blue and called it La Casa Azul, the blue house. It stood out from everything else. Isn't that beautiful? When I was six years old, I got a disease called polio. It made my right leg thinner and shorter than my left leg. My leg hurts. I know, mamita. I had to stay in my room for nine months. When I finally got out, kids would make fun of me. Pata de palo, peg leg, look at the peg leg. I tried hiding my leg under long skirts or wearing extra socks. It didn't help. Thankfully, I always had a special place where I could escape. In my room, I'd breathe onto the window pane and draw a door. <sighs> that door let me enter my imagination. There, I would visit a dairy called Benzon. I entered through the O. It would take me down, down, down inside the earth where my imaginary friend was always waiting for me. I don't remember what she looked like or even what color she was, but together we would laugh and dance. I'd tell her all my problems and she would listen. That place made me happy, and when I'd blur the door with my hand, it would disappear. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. To strengthen my leg, my dad encouraged me to play sports. Soccer, wrestling, boxing, swimming. I did it all. Great, you got it. Back then, these were considered boy sports, but not to me. One of the best things my dad shared with me was his curiosity about the world. As a photographer, he'd take me along when he went to shoot photos. Okay, plants, say cheese. He also liked to paint. While he did his watercolors, I'd collect pebbles, plants, and even insects. I'd bring them home looking up each item in my dad's books and examining them under a microscope. Is that a real bug? Isn't it beautiful? Look around, beauty is everywhere. At 14, I went to National Preparatory School, the best high school in Mexico. Of the 2,000 students, I was one of only 35 girls. My goal was to be a doctor one day. At school, we're supposed to dress and behave a certain way. I dressed differently. The wealthy mothers would take one look at me and yell, Nina fea. What an ugly girl. She certainly doesn't look like anyone else. I think it's kind of cool. To other students, I was fascinating. My closest friends were a group of kids called the cachuchas, which is like a hot pepper. We were smart and loved to read, but sometimes we got in trouble, like when we rode a real donkey down the hallway. Frida, are you sure this is a good idea? Pretty sure. One day, a famous painter named Diego Rivera was hired to create a mural for our auditorium. I watched him for three hours. Soon, we would change each other's lives. I didn't know it at the time, but my hardest days were coming. At 18, I was in a terrible accident when a trolley smashed into the bus I was riding. Ay, Dios mío. It's horrible. Someone on the bus had been carrying paint, so my body was covered in powdered gold. She's really hurt. A month after the accident, I came home from the hospital in a full body cast. My spinal column was broken in three places. The doctors literally had to put me back together. The pain in my leg and foot was terrible. I could barely move my arms, but I survived. I didn't get many visitors. It made me realize that I wanted to be friends only with the people who like me just the way I am. I knew my life had changed. I would no longer be a doctor. Instead, I learned how to lie still. I began to paint. Since I couldn't sit up in bed, my mom asked a carpenter to make a special easel for me. I grabbed my father's brushes, then I began. I worked hard, poring over books about art history. My first paintings weren't great. I even tore one up because I was so unhappy with it. But with my mirror, I kept going, painting what I saw. What's she painting? Her best subject. I paint myself because I am so often alone and because I am the subject I know best. As soon as I could go outside, I brought my paintings to Diego Rivera, the famous painter I had met years earlier. What do you think? 
The other three are okay. This portrait of you is the most original. You have talent. Over time, my portraits became more complex. I began adding pieces of local Mexican art and history, textiles, and intricate carvings to show people who I was. This is wonderful. Thank you, I'm just getting started. Eventually, Diego and I got married. We traveled to America, to places like San Francisco, New York, and Detroit, meeting some of the wealthiest people in the world. Ooh, I love the mix of the old and new. Nelson Rockefeller. Just like in high school, some people would insult my clothing. Look at her outfit. Does she belong in a circus? And those ugly sandals. They're called huaraches. I love these shoes. So you're a painter. Yes, the greatest in the world. That's what I really told him. My time away made me realize that my favorite place of all was home. Back in Mexico, I embraced all the things I loved. My heritage, every day I dress like a fiesta. Animals, I had a parrot, a pair of turkeys, an osprey, and even pet monkeys. And of course, painting. Back then, women were expected to be quiet and feminine. I wasn't either of those things. I painted the way I wanted on metal, glass, and tin. I also dressed the way I wanted, including wearing suits. I love her work. It's like a ribbon around a bomb. What does that mean? It means beautiful and strong. In addition to painting, I became a teacher, a professor. Draw what you have in your houses, clay jars, furniture, toys, paint anything. Can we paint you? On the first day, that's exactly what they did. They painted me. The pain from my accident never went away. Some days it was so bad I could barely stand. Even then, I took my students on field trips. Beautiful, isn't it? Paint this. As my health got worse, my four most committed students, Los Fridos, came to my Casa Azul for their lessons. They painted everything they saw, and so did I. I wanted to paint, paint, paint. Eventually, I sent them out into the world to paint murals on nearby laundries and taverns. Frida taught us that art shouldn't be in places or just for those with money. Art is for everyone. To honor my work, a gallery owner began planning my first ever one-woman show in Mexico. Photographer Lola Alvarez Bravo. I was so sick she was worried I might miss it. So they set up my bed and made me part of the exhibit. She arrived by ambulance on a stretcher. The party was overcrowded and sweaty people were everywhere. It was total chaos and absolutely beautiful. Tragedy nearly took my life, but it couldn't take my spirit. Fighting back wasn't easy, especially when people made fun of how I looked and where I was from, but I was determined to see things differently. My face, my clothes, my country, even my paint, these are the colors on my canvas. They don't look like anyone else's, and they shouldn't. That's the best part. Your picture is uniquely yours. Today, Frida Kahlo is considered one of the world's greatest artists, and La Casa Azul is now the Frida Kahlo Museum, open to the public. The museum has this, the last painting she ever did, Viva la Vida, which means long live life. Her husband Diego Rivera eventually said she's a better painter than I am. She is proof that no one can ever define you, no matter how you look. Her hair looks like a pretzel on this one. That's not a pretzel, it's an infinity sign. Something that ties us together and lives forever. Art is like life. It's rarely what it first appears. Instead of following a straight path, your life and your art will twist and turn, taking you on unexpected journeys. It's messy and bold and scary and fun, but it's all part of your picture, a magnificent self-portrait. Look in this mirror, what do you see? I see a work of art. I am Frida Kahlo, and I know the most beautiful thing is you, just as you are. And here is a timeline of Frida Kahlo's life. And here's a quote from Frida, and it says, painting completed my life. And the photographs, the first one shows Frida at age 11, and then Frida with Diego Rivera, and then Frida, the third from the left, with her sisters and cousins. And that is the end. So I hope you learned something new about someone new. And I love this quote on the back of the book. And it says, I know that the most beautiful thing is you just as you are. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll talk to you later. Bye.